from the back of a back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. When I come home, it's game time. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Is 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. It's Like Us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course. That teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I'm your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Like Us 101. Now, we've been taking an awful lot of time at Like Us 101 to remind you what this class is not. Because I do believe a number of you call in and uh, get the idea that we're just some male version of the Dr. Laura show where you call in with your problems and I solve them. That's not what this is, okay? I'll tell you right now. That's right. It's not what this is. Uh, because here's the deal. The purpose of this program is to teach guys how to get laid. I am not capable of qualified to or interested in fixing your marriage. It's not my job uh, to give you a happier relationship. It's not what I do. It just isn't. My job here is to teach guys who want to get laid how to get laid. How to avoid with all the claptrap and all the flowers and all the candy and all the limousines and all the expensive meals. How to avoid all of the meeting parents and meeting family and uh, going through all these motions and all that happy horse crap that you go through. Okay, that's my job. Try to keep you away from that. Seriously speaking, I mean, come on. Guys, please. It gets so frustrating having these conversations with you. I mean, holy Christ, some of the stuff is just uh, mind-boggling. The stuff you guys tolerate, the stuff you guys uh, listen to, the stuff you believe from women. I'm looking at some personals online right now. This is Yahoo Personals. Here's a woman looking for her soulmate. Here's somebody who wants to know if there's anyone out there that can make her smile. Here's somebody who still believes in fairy tales. Here's a person who clearly is going to have baggage. She says she's single and ready to move on. So you can only imagine what kind of screaming matches she had with the last victim. 
Here's a woman who put out for everybody, but it's not going to be you. She says, friends first, lovers second. So after she's knocked it out with every guy in town, now she's got to you, and you're going to have to be her friend first. You may or may not ever get sex from her. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Here's a woman who calls herself Butterfly. And she says, how do you capture a butterfly? Boy, does that sound like a lot of work or what? Now, here's a woman who's pretty upfront. She says, hello, boys. That's her headline. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> Among all the others. I mean, some of you have used this online dating, and I recently recommended that since one-third of all women put out on the first date online, might as well start using it. Here's a woman who's going to take forever to get in her pants. Her headline says, The Art of Kissing. Oh, Jesus. That sounds like three weeks of foreplay. Just amazing. Here's a woman I think who likes abuse. She's looking for a nice guy with an edge. <laughs> so, sounds like the back of somebody's hand is heading for her face. If she feels like she did it right. Oh, boy. Here's a woman looking for the right one. And she has the number one there, I guess, to save space or something. I mean, it's, it's, it's just remarkable, all this nonsense. Uh, the bottom line, boys, is you want to get laid. You want to get laid. Here's a woman with a very scary photo, and her headlight says, Single mom, don't let that scare you. <laughs> Oh, baby. Just amazing. <laughs> Here's an Agora woman looking for that special someone. This stuff blows me away. Lots of people here saying they have good hearts. Here's Cinderella looking for Prince Charming. Here's a woman who says she's kind-hearted. A number of women put this headline in, and I don't understand what it's supposed to mean. It says, let's go fly a kite together. What does that mean? You know, women are always sending out these uh, this code, and you're supposed to figure out what it means. What does that mean? Jesus. Here's a woman who's not going to have sex with you. The headline says, conversation, coffee, laughter, here. Yeah. How about sex? No, that's somewhere down the block, probably. Mm. Ah, yes. Here's someone who says, let's chat. You'd be online with her for three years before she even uh, has coffee with you. Let's chat. Here's someone who's seeking new friends. Yeah, with their clothes on. <laughs> Jesus. And it just goes on and on like this. Uh, and you boys, uh, of course, buy into all this romantic BS. The bottom line is you're looking to get L-A-I-D, guys, laid, all right? Laid. That's what my boys are looking to get, laid. You're not looking for coffee, conversation, kite flying. You're not looking for lessons in kissing. You're, not, <laughs> you're looking to get laid. Bottom line. And by the way, I'm reading you all these headlines from women online, despite the fact that they say all this stuff. One third of them give it up on the first date. One third. What an amazing number. So uh, <laughs> women try to give you all this romantic BS. Trust me, it's nothing more than that BS. Don't fall for it. Don't engage in romanticism. Don't be buying flowers. Don't be buying candy. Don't be uh, taking her to expensive restaurants. Never rent a limousine. Try to avoid dinner at all costs. Try to spend as little money as possible. These are the basics. Our boys don't spend more than $40 on a date. Zero is optimum. Seriously. We don't date single mothers, and it's three strikes, you're out. If she doesn't put out of the first three dates, we move on. I can't make it simpler or more direct than that. 
My job as your professor in this classroom is to keep you away from relationships, keep you away from commitment, prevent marriage at all costs, and to keep you from wasting time, money, and energy listening to women blabbing on and on and on and filibustering without giving you what you want, which is sex. That's what this class is all about. I'm not here to tell you how to improve your marriage or how to make your husband stop playing video games or stuff like that. I'm not here to do that. I don't believe in marriage. I don't believe in relationships. I don't believe in commitment. Certainly not if you're younger. I just don't. Marriage benefits children, but not men. And being that we are in the holiday season, boys, I'm here to make sure you're getting laid without having to give engagement rings as as payment. If you've got a question on how to get laid for less money, how to avoid commitment, how to utilize some of our techniques, you're more than welcome to join our conversation here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Ladies, if you disagree with your professor... Your professor uh, encourages a vigorous classroom discussion with plenty of disagreement. It's all welcome here. All you have to do is dial. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800. Tom. Boys, I highly recommend that. Tabasco sauce in the condom when you're done with it. Wouldn't you love to catch some bitch doing that? Honey, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And they go to the other room. It's like... Ah! It's Likas 101. On the Tom Likey Show. Likey's 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mona on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hello. Are you a screamer or a Mona? Hi, I'm Mona. Oh, Mona. Okay. How are you doing, Tom? Doing okay. Uh, yes, I have a question for you. Yes. What do you think about women staying virgins till they get married? I think then they finally do have sex. Uh, it's uh, dreadful, and I've heard reports from the front on this. But isn't it the right way? Uh, well, I'm an atheist. I don't have any religious beliefs, and so I don't see why that would be the right way. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, uh, forget religion, because if they do, you know, you won't be on the radio calling them bitches and encouraging guys to go and have sex and just dump the women. Don't you well, think? Well, I'm, I'm encouraging them. Uh, virgins are not helping out in our effort, but believe me, uh, for every uh, virgin, there's another 99 women up the block who will take care of the work. Well, that's why. This is, you know, I am calling all women, please. Stop having sex. <laughs> Stop just putting it out just like that for like for nothing. It's not going to happen, dear. I mean, what are you selling it off to the highest bidder? No, but you know, marriage is like it, it, it's a good thing. You know, it is. So just uh, having sex just like that, you know. So like how old are you? Twenty. You're, how old are you? Twenty two, twenty three. No, I am thirty eight. Thirty eight, and you've never had sex. No, I am the real McCoy. I'm a virgin from head to toes, and from front to back. I take it. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And um, so, uh, darling, uh, why don't you have a husband if, you, if you're doing it the right way? i tell you why. Because men, they just, when I say, like, I'm 38, I'm a virgin, they kind of slip. Right? Yeah, because of women, just nobody's a virgin no more. That's See? right. So, this is a problem, you know. They, like, it's a problem, for, it's a problem for you. Wait, 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 wait. It's a problem for you. For me and women like me. Yeah, there are For many precious women like us. There are not many women like you, dear. And I am kind of I dare to be different and I'm proud of it. Yeah, but ultimately, dear, if you finally get married, you don't know anything about sex. Okay. And you'll be with a man who's had lots of sex. Well, I you know it's okay for him to teach me. Yeah, but dear, the point is... It's like having a brand new car. What's wrong with that? Let me give you an example. Learning a foreign language. Kids pick up languages very quickly, and that's why uh, children who grow up in Europe, they speak five, six, seven languages. 
Now, let's take an adult who tries to learn a language. It's difficult. It's difficult to do. But it's it's not impossible. And you and you always speak with an accent, right, Mona? Well, I'm proud of my accent. But That's not I my point, dear. You're going to be speaking with an accent English in bed is one too. Of six languages I speak. Okay, but you're going to be speaking with an accent in bed if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You're you're always going to be a virgin to some extent. Well, it's a good thing. Not for a guy, it's not. I think it is, you know. Who doesn't want to well, own a if, brand new if, car if, instead if, of a used and abused car? Yeah, but here's the thing. If I got a brand new car that was made in 1942 but hasn't been driven, it's going to have some rust. It's not going to have all the new features. And frankly, uh, I'm concerned about whether it could uh, go on a long drive. You know what? A little rust better than a gun. Like when you buy a car that's really gone, the motor is gone. I think a little rust. You know, you can little, like fix uh, it. little lubrication. You can always grease that up. But I really, um, it's like it hurts me when I hear, you know, uh, like if you, you think this guys, this hurts like you, wait until you have sex for the first time. What? It hurts me, you know, because my, I mean, like like you're like my mom, you know. What about my sister? What about my auntie? It hurts me when you call women bitches. But I totally understand. But we don't call them bitches. Mom. We're not. You see, a bitch and a slut are two different things, dear. When I call a woman a bitch, it's not because she's had sex. Where you're coming from? Why okay. you're calling women bitches? Right, but because the ones I'm calling bitches aren't necessarily sluts. And they cheat, you know. They have no value. It's like they give it out just like that. So I understand where you're coming from. But we want women to give it out just like that when, when we want it. Sweetheart, it's not all about you. But it's darling, not all about you. the proof is in the pudding. You're 38 and you're still unmarried. Well, so you, what, what, what do you want me to tell you? Well, you don't have to tell me anything. That tells everything we need to know about you. How many, like, women are 38 and they are not married? And they are just hurting themselves every day by sleeping with different guys? Yeah, but... At least I don't have to worry about... But you understand that the pregnant. odds of you getting married are getting... About diseases. The odds of you getting married are getting slimmer every day. Honey, I'm, like, in a very good shape and I'm a happy person. And I'm content. I'm so fulfilled. you don't care if you never get married? Problems. You don't care if you never get married. That's okay with you. Well, if the right guy comes along who appreciates what I'm all about, because I'm a treasure. Well, darling, uh, we don't know if you're a treasure because we don't know how you're going to be in the sack. And, and frankly, I believe that you're going to be lacking. That's not true. Well, how do you know? That's, you say that. You've never done it. Because you know what? Sex is, is an art anyway. Sex is an art? How do you know? Well, I, you know, it's like, it's, you know, like all of us, we are born with this kind of, you know, knowledge. We are born with it. Because sex is always like, you know, it's not something you're just going to, like, learn How do you know? Doing. How do you know? I mean, dogs do it. Cats do it. How do you know? Yeah. Dogs.